you go, everybody. Back at it again, out here on the high river. Now that didn't take long. We we just got here. We literally just set up. Probably been here five minutes or so. We're out here on the high river today. Do a little bit of barge hopping, and uh, if that's any sign of what's to come, it's going to be a fast action paced day. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see what happens. Hooked up again. Don't seem to be like a big fish, but man, he's wild. Oh, yeah. Fast action barge hopping. I love it. Oh, got a third one going. Fifteen minutes into our first uh, anchor here, you know, on this first barge, and that's a double. That's three already. Looks like we got. Looks like we got another bite going. Get these back in the water. And see what's going on. Alright, what we're uh, what we're using today is a double hook rig and uh, this time I've got bigger hooks on it. Those are 8-aught Diachi hooks using 10 ounces of weight. Even though there's not a lot of current, you know, I like to keep my bait out where, where it needs to be. But we're using double hook rigs and single hook rigs and a variety of cut bait and live bait. And the bait of choice, as most times, gizzard shad. Hook 
hooked up with another small one. Fishing these barges like this can be very, you know, you catch a lot of fish. You may not catch a lot of big fish, but. You, know, you can catch a lot of, a lot of small fish and just have a good day. Now we, we haven't even been here 30 minutes. And, that's number four. That's three flatheads and one blue cat. Oh, got another one going back here. He let go of it, but it's the first of November, and you know these fish are really wanting to eat. We don't have a whole bunch of current. They dropped the river a lot yesterday, and there's a lot of trash coming down the river, and and uh, there's not as much current as I'd like to have, but it seems like the fish are still eating and, and wanting to eat, so let's get back out there and see if we can catch another one. Right here. Got another one going down. I love it. Another beautiful West Virginia blue cat. Man. Now, a lot of people ask me what I'm what do I mean whenever I say let the fish tell you what they want. Well, they're already, even though this is our first spot, they've already kind of told me a little bit of what they want. This fish, for instance, if you look at it, he's covered in mud he, all the way up to his dorsal fin. I mean, he's, he's just absolutely covered in mud. And all the fish that we've caught have come on the deeper side of the boat. So that tells us that we need to kind of stay on that side or that depth. So let's get him back in there and see what else we can do. Sitting there on my phone. I just had one just absolutely. He just absolutely nailed it. There you go, another one. Man. It's definitely 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 fast action now like I said earlier we're using a different variety of bait you know live cut big small now that fish there you know he took a live shad about like that size right there nothing real big but you know, still good and alive. Let's throw him back out there, see if we can get another one. There we go, folks. Got two on.
finally a little better fish. Still got that one on. Set this one right here. There you go, that's what happens when you try to lift them in. Lost that one right at the boat. There you go, nice blue cap. You know, like I, like I was telling you guys, we've just been moving down this this rub barge is back and forth. Seems to be working out pretty good for us. We've caught a lot of fish today. Nothing, nothing great like big size or nothing. A lot of eight, 10 pound fish. And this can be a great way for you all to, you know, go out and just enjoy your day and not really be stressed out about trying to find structure or find uh, find something that's going to hold fish. Now, the good thing about these are it's ever-changing. They'll come in, they'll move these barges, they may put new ones back tomorrow. This will con continuously change every day. And they're not always going to hold fish. But whenever they are, it's usually good, fast action, and it can be a great time, great time. So if they're, if they're, if they're, Guys, I was gonna, I was gonna call it a day, and I was coming down through here, and I thought, well, heck, we'll give it, fish one more barge. I think we got one that's got a little bit of shoulders on it. Well, he's just barely hooked.
go, another nice blue cap. Still nothing, nothing real big, but. And I think I almost called it a day. Glad well, I stopped here now. Finally got one with some shoulders. Get the net. Yeah, a little better. Still not no pig, but I'll take them that size every day, all day. I am so glad I had bait left and decided not to call it a day yet. Let's get him back, catch another one.
Guys, this has been an absolute. Oh, I got a third one. <laughs> oh, goodness. I can't believe this. What a day. Oh There's number two. There you go. Nice triple. I'm gonna release these two small ones and get a weight in the picture of this bigger one. And, whew, get back out there and see what we can do. I want you to look at this. Now I just just turned that little blue and that little flathead loose. And I got that that bigger flathead in the live well, so I can get a weight on him and get a picture. I look back there, and I'll be that going. I want another one down. I've got. Three rods out of the seven left in the water. Look at that Diachi hook. Number eight, bleeding bait. Matched up with Warrior Cat medium heavy rods and heavy rods, monster rod holders. Can't beat it. Man, what a day. He's good and lively. Let's get him back and <laughs> I don't want to go home. Whew. All right, everybody. Got a weight on him. 
uh, 25. Wasn't as big as what I thought, but nice solid fish anyway. So wind's starting to kick up, and this is going to be the end. So nice way to cap off a good day and great day. So getting back in the water. There he goes. So, once again, hope you all enjoyed. Hope you learned something. If you go to fish these places, please remember that, you know, they're, these barge captains can't see you. So, if you're tucked in behind these barges and stuff, be courteous to them guys working. Keep your eyes out to what they're doing so you don't get hurt or killed. Once again, also, please hit like and subscribe, comment. We'll talk to you next time. See ya.